Thanks for joining us for this video. We're kind of excited about this unboxing that we have today. It's a product that we've actually had uh, sitting around and we just haven't had two seconds to even pull it out. But guess what? It's a sunny day and we're excited to finally have a chance to use this. It's actually a solar powered oven. And um, one of the things we've learned from living off grid as we are right now, we're building an off grid homestead is that energy is rare. So you have to find it, get it, acquire it, bring it, all these things and cooking is one of those things that requires fuel so we use propane for a lot of our cooking right now but as you can see we've just installed a wood stove so we hope to start using that uh, probably on some of the colder days but to give us another option so that we're not so dependent on these resources uh, we actually have a go sun stove and I believe the the idea behind this product wasn't just to kind of give uh, those people in the domestic areas, maybe the United States, another option to cook, but really to help people around the world who don't have all these convenient appliances um, that we have here in America. So, but the nice thing is we can benefit from that technology too. So while it might have originally been designed to help people who don't have access to this but can still cook their own food, we're excited because we're kind of living like those people. Even though we live in America, we're off grid. We don't have an abundant supply of natural resources. Uh, in fact, we're gonna go get some firewood today. It takes a lot of work to do that. Uh, we actually ran out of propane last night because we've been heating a lot, trying to stay warm. So you can kind of see the conundrum here. So we're excited about this because it kind of takes care of the cooking while we're working. So instead of kind of doing this on-demand cooking thing that America and other developed countries do, which is like when it's dark outside, we turn all the lights on. Since we're off grid, we've kind of learned to work more with the sun and natural light. So we're more in tune with the natural cycles instead of like the, the clock. Like at seven o'clock, I shower at seven o'clock. We tend to do things based on the amount of, of light available. That said, oftentimes when we're working, we could be cooking, but we can't be because we can't be working and cooking at the same time. But this stove should allow us to do that. So we can prepare our meal with breakfast, say, let's, let's say it's lunch or dinner. We'll prepare that with our breakfast and then we'll set the sun stove up. We'll set it out in the sun and hopefully by the time we're ready for dinner, which is usually between three and four o'clock because of the sun, we should have a nice hot toasty dinner ready. So today we just want to unbox this with you. Let's take a look at what's in there, kind of look at the design a little bit. We'll maybe talk a little bit about some of the features and how we think it works. And then later on, we're going to be doing a full review. We'll kind of tell you some of the things we like, what we don't like, how it's working, whether we're actually getting hot, tasty meals out of this oven and where it kind of fits into our lifestyle. So it'll kind of help you decide if this is something that you might want around your homestead, maybe to take with you camping or RVing or wherever you might go that you might use something that doesn't really use any fuel. So uh, let's get to the unboxing. Looks like it opens here. My goodness, it's big. Okay. Um, looks like there's a user guide and I'm get oh, and ha, 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 a cookbook because we all need to know how to cook with the sun. Uh, every cookbook you have probably says set the oven to 375 and go watch a movie, but you can't do that with the stove. So, uh, there's a user guide and a cook booklet, set that to the side. Um, Okay, so there's a quick start guide on the top here that looks like it kind of walks you through how to set the oven up. Um, we'll kind of talk about that a little bit later. It looks like there's a few things kind of all bundled together instead of kind of strewn all over. So we'll take a look at that when we get a chance to set it up. Um, pretty good padding in the box, by the way. So if that's an issue for you, I mean, I, like I said, I think that they ship a lot of these internationally, so I'm, I just have this vision of them getting thrown all over the place. So they've got to be pretty strong. Um, so this looks like it's the solar collector, and it's got nice padding on it. So here's the solar collector. 
And I'm guessing this is the base, so it kind of folds up into a handle. Interesting, okay. And then here's the solar collector part. And then inside here, we'll open it up in a minute, but uh, inside there is the glass tube. I'll set that back down for just a second here. And then this appears to be the cooking tray. Ah, okay. So the handle is in there. Okay. So let me pull this all out and we'll set the box to the side here. I think that's pretty much everything that's in the box. All right, we'll set that down for a second. So looks like there's a protective film on the solar collector. I suppose you probably have to take that off of there. You don't want to get that like really hot and crunchy. So we'll leave that on there for now. Um, according to the instructions, we're just supposed to rotate the base down like this and then lock it into place. <laughs> I'm very new to solar ovens. I don't look nearly this scared when I'm unboxing a regular oven because <laughs> I know how they work. So this base, I think this handle rotates down. Okay, so, oh I see, so down here on the bottom there's little clippy poos. Yes, that's a technical term, it's an engineering term. And they clip into the base to make it nice and solid. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I'm just rotating this little clip around. So now the base is nice and solid. And this oven tilts on the base. So looks something like that. You can set it on a table and then you can kind of rotate the oven. And that's so that you can collect the optimal amount of sunlight. So I assume in the morning you'd be pretty direct as the sun starts to come up. And then of course, as the day progresses, you'd just keep uh, rotating this up and you would eventually get noon sun and then of course evening sun, something like that. So these parts here are the solar collector and when they open up they re direct sun into this glass tube. From what I understand this glass tube is double wall and what that means is the outside is cool to the touch but the inside is where the cooking happens. So this is why it's so important that you use the cooking tray um, is that it actually uh, protects the, the food and everything from touching the glass because I imagine it gets extremely hot. So this glass tube is the oven part and it's kind of an interesting shape. Um, kind of give you a little tour of that. Um, I think we're supposed to take these foam things out. I don't think you're supposed to have foam near a solar oven. All right, so um, we'll kind of take a look at this cooking tray and then see if we can figure out how it fits in the oven there. I took the little foam packaging things out of there. So, um, by the way, just a comment on the weight. This is the GoSun Sport. I need to be more specific about that, I guess. I think they make several models. I don't know how many, but there's a big one. I think they even make like, like a feast model. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like, you can feed a hundred people. I don't know how big it is. It's big, okay? And it's like vertical, and you could do like, I don't know, a farmer's market with it. Something like that, I mean, or, or something along those lines. So let's take a look at this thingamajigger. And this is the cooking tray. I think that's all that's in here, but uh, this is very well packaged. Let's see if we can figure out how to open it. It now want to be out of its little thing. All right, we're winning. We're slowly winning. My goodness. So just a comment on the packaging. It's good. It's good packaging. All right. So this low tech little guy is the cooking tray. Looks like the handles screwed on the inside. It's on the inside of the oven. Instead of on the outside of the oven. 
So I'm unscrewing the handle here, or attempting to. Hmm. It's very difficult to do on camera. Okay, all done. All right, so I'm putting this threaded wooden handle on the end of the cooking tray. Like this. And so this is where you'd actually put the food, or your food. And I know some of these things, there's this one I don't think is, is compatible, but they make a model of this that you can cook, uh, or you can heat fluids with. So I know that the stove can heat fluids, but I don't know that this cooking tray is appropriate for cooking fluids. We'll find out about that. Um, looks like there's a little cleaning scrubby here on the end. So this is probably for cleaning the stove, which was a question I had. How do you clean a ghost on stove? Now I know. They include a little scrubby do here. I haven't read the instructions, but I have my hunches that you're not supposed to use any like abrasive materials because glass is, once it's scratched, it's much weaker. So. So there's a cleaning scrubby here, and I guess uh, if you're just going to clean the oven, you screw it on the end and away you go. So let's take the cleaning scrubby off here. We'll set that to the side. And let's put the cooking tray in the oven. So this seems to be made out of uh, like a stainless steel, like a cooking grade stainless steel. It's particularly thin, uh, maybe a little sharp. I'm sure they're aware of that. There's, there was something in the warnings about sharp metal, so that might be just something we could comment on right away, is definitely don't let children play with this. It's not a toy. I would definitely say don't let children around. That's kind of sheet metal-y, so. Um, anyway, so the cooking tray should slide in the end of the oven. Thusly. And the silicone piece on the end there makes a nice tight seal. So that's really cool. And I think there's a little vent. There's a little vent on the top. I don't think you'd want that on the bottom, but I'm sure as the cooking and the food and everything expands, you don't want it to like pop the cooking tray out. So there's a little vent there. It looks like the tube inside's got like a like a the reflective coating, not reflective, but like a an absorbent coating so that it absorbs a lot of sun, um, the heat from the sun. So what we'll have to do is take this kind of protective film off and then read through the instructions and kind of take a careful look over what we're not supposed to do with this oven. And then uh, I think we're going to either make an omelet to start or we're going to start with something kind of basic that's pretty hard to screw up. And then hopefully we'll get a good meal out of it. And then we might move on to more complex things like I think Alyssa's got some pumpkin oatmeal recipe strategy that she wants to try. So that sounds pretty tasty. Uh, so that's kind of the ghost on stove. I'm sure there's more to it than that. There's a few pieces that we need to go through like the quick start guide here. Um, pretty much, uh, yeah, it says everything we kind of went through. The one thing was remove the protective film from the reflectors. Use the S hooks, which we showed to put the stand together. That way it's nice and secure. Otherwise it'll just kind of flop open. Um, read the labels, the warning labels. There's a few of them. There's one here. Uh, it basically says don't just leave this out in the sun when it's empty. Uh, you'll superheat the tray and it could cause problems. So when you're done with it, put it away, clean it, put it away. Um, other than that, uh, it's about everything. So, perfect. So we have a GoSun Sport solar oven here. Uh, we're excited to take a, a, a trial run with this and see if we can cook with it. It'll be awesome just kind of as a, as a auxiliary or maybe even like an alternative to the cooking systems that we have now. We use a, a cast iron skillet, which is really cool, but it takes a lot of energy to heat it. And it's certainly not something we're going to heat with the sun. So uh, we'll give this thing a trial run and then we'll post an additional video about the solar stove uh, coming soon. Hopefully this will help us to cook fresh 
uh, meals here on the homestead. Even though we don't have a lot of natural resources, um, we tend to have a lot of sun on our particular piece of property, which we're really excited to have. So we look forward to using this and sharing with you our experience. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about our off-grid homesteading project, uh, please follow us over on our blog. It's purelivingforlife.com. We're going to be doing some timber framing. We're also going to do an off-grid solar project, building our own garden, things like that. So if you'd like to learn more about that, please follow us over there. We also have a Facebook and an Instagram. If you like those, please follow us over there. We do a lot of micro posts. We don't post everything on the blog, but we do a lot of little updates and things over there on those other channels. So please follow us over there. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and we'll see you next time.